Pattern is clear there, clear here. Looks like we're clear, so then checking lights. Camera means that's at 1200 on. Okay. Action, checking our flaps, everything else, we are good. So, off we shall go. Cessna 60338 is upwind over 24 following the other airplane, uh, Blue Ash. Blue Ash traffic, 107 Charlie Lima is turning downwind, runway 24 looking for that upwind traffic. We are directly over the numbers. Affirmative, we got you inside. That's one of those ATC things just to collect, just let you know you have the message without tying up too much talking basically. Blue Ash traffic, Cessna 60338, crosswind, runway 24, Blue Ash. And Blue Ash traffic, Cessna 60338, turning right downwind, runway 24, Blue Ash. Traffic Cessna 60338 turning right base 24 Blue Ash. Normally everything with airplanes to the left, but on occasion it's uh, to the right like this, so you kind of got to think about it again. It's a little bit different. Just uh, out of habit, you want to say left all the time. <laughs> Blue Ash traffic Cessna 60338 final runway 24 Blue Ash. Traffic Cessna 60338 is departing runway 24, left turn out southbound, Blue Ash. Lights, 
camera, no flaps action. how much hillier it is down here versus Dayton. Yeah. You wouldn't think it'd be that different, but you really can't tell. Claremont County traffic, Cessna 6033 five miles to the west. Got across midfield for a left downwind runway 22, Claremont County. Claremont County traffic, Cessna 60338, entering a left downwind midfield, runway 22, Claremont County traffic. Claremont County traffic, Cessna 60338, turning left base, runway 22, Claremont County. Claremont County traffic, Cessna 60338, final, runway 22, Claremont County. Claremont County traffic, Cessna 60338 is taking runway 22 for departure to the north. Claremont County traffic. Claremont County traffic, 377 Exterior, five miles southeast of the field at 3,000 feet, Lazy 8. That's just some guy doing a uh, practice maneuver. show you a, instead of a normal landing, we'll do a short field landing. So basically you go out a little bit further to give you a little more time to set up. Okay. Um, instead of using 30 degrees of flaps in this plane, we can use all 40, which means it's like putting a barn door out. You'll feel it just kind of sh And uh, you, you, so you're coming pretty steep, and then you want the idea is you touch down and stop as like, short as possible. Okay. Also, you'll, you'll use power throughout the approach compared to a normal one. Get lined up here, and then I'm going to bring in the, uh, the rest of the flaps. Got all 40 degrees out. So, so the trick with this, you control your sink rate with your throttle and your airspeed with the with the elevator. And so I want to be about 55 here. Look at my airspeed indicator. And the idea is I'm touching down just pat at the third set of cones. But of course, it's harder here today because of all the. Uh, there's always a thermal here, so we're going to get some extra free lift. Cool. 
I got a little extra, but still. Good call out, traffic 504, Del Delwin, 9, good call out. Still a pretty short landing, all things considered.